Welcome to My Apple Zone, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of iOS 4.2 for the iPad. Today, Apple finally released iOS 4.2 for the iPad, the iPhone, and the iPod Touch, and I'm going to be doing a quick review of iOS 4.2 for the iPad. So let's get right into it. The first feature that everybody's been looking forward to on the iPad with iOS 4.2 is multitasking been playing around with iOS 4.2 now for a couple minutes and multitasking on the iPad is great. I'm going to show it to you really quickly. Pull up Safari here. I'm auto automatically on the iOS 4.2 uh, Apple website. I'm going to go back to the home page by double clicking the home button or clicking the home button. Brought back to the home page. I'm going to open Safari again and there I am. I'm right back at the web page. Previously, without multitasking, it would have to reload the web page. So the page is stored in memory, and it's now available whenever you want to pull it up. One of the benefits of multitasking. Another great feature of multitasking, I'm going to go back to the home page. I'm going to open up Pages, and I'm going to create a new document. New document. Okay, now I'm going to open up the... Um, uh, the uh, dock down here or the multitasking bar and I'm going to go back to Safari and I'm going to select this block of text right here copy it I'm going to double click the uh, home button uh, go back to pages double tap paste and now the content that I just copied from the web page is in my pages document. So that's another great feature of multitasking is you can cut and paste uh, text and images and all sorts of content in between documents on the fly. So I'm going to go back to the home page. I'm going to open up, uh, let's see, uh, Google Maps. I'm going to go back to the home page and I'm going to open up Game Center. Now, Game Center is a, another uh, app that comes with iOS 4.2. Gonna I'm going to open up Game Center. Uh, I'm just going to cover my um, email address, let Game Center open up, and go back. Now I can uh, double tap the, uh, the home button, and there are all my applications that are currently running in my dock. And I can select, I can uh, cycle in between those, so I can go back to Safari, uh, double click, go to uh, pages, and it switches on the fly. So let's go, uh, let's open up another application. Let's open up, uh, let's open up notes. Another great feature of notes, notes has been improved in iOS 4.2. Um, you can now select three different fonts in uh, notes, uh, the fonts, let's go to settings and let's go to notes. The three fonts that you can now uh, select are chalkboard, Helvetica, and marker felt. So I've got all my applications opened up here in the dock. Go back to the home page. Uh, let's open up one more application. Let's open up this calculator that I use all the time. Go back to the dock. There are all my applications opened up in the dock. And just like on the iPhone, um, you can kill applications by holding down the uh, one of the applications until you get the application shake. And then just hit the red uh, negative sign, and that kills all the applications running in the background. Go back to um, the home page. And that is multitasking for the iPad. Multitasking on the iPad really improves the productivity of the iPad. You can quickly uh, switch uh, on the fly in between applications, copy and paste content, text images, etc., and uh, quickly access applications. You don't have to restart the applications. They're running in the background. Um, so multitasking, a great productivity improvement for the iPad. So one thing with uh, multitasking on the iPad um, you need to make sure that all the applications that you're using are updated. There are a ton of updated applications that are taking advantage of iOS 4.2 and multitasking. If you haven't downloaded the most recent version of that application, it won't be able to take advantage of multitasking. So make sure you go to the App Store and go to the Updates. 
and make sure that you update all your applications. I've got a bunch of applications that I need to update. Make sure that you update all your applications so they take advantage of iOS 4.2 and multitasking. Next feature that everybody's been waiting for is folders because we've got so many applications on our desktop or on the iPad desktop that uh, it's so hard to keep track of them. So I'm going to quickly take, I'm going to quickly create a folder. I'm going to go to uh, my second page here. I'm going to hold down notes till I get the application shake, drag it over here and drag it on top of pages and I now get a folder called Productivity. I can rename that if I want or just leave it. Click out of there, click back in there, there it is. And let me turn off the application shake, there we go. Go back to Productivity, click on Notes, there we go. Go back, close that folder. Let's do the same thing for Games. I'm going to go and grab uh, War Chess and I'm going to drop it on top of uh, Breakout Classic. And it creates a folder called Games, opens it up. I can retitle the, uh, the name of the folder if I'd like to, or just leave it the same. Uh, okay, so that is folder creation. You can grab the folder and drag it wherever you want. So that's folders in iOS 4.2 for the iPad. Two great features that are now available. Um, you can uh, categorize all your applications and put them in the folders that you want to create so you can quickly find them on the fly. So that's a quick tour of iOS 4.2 for the iPad. I'm going to be doing a little bit more uh, in-depth review of some of the other features of iOS 4.2. Um, the uh, unified inbox with mail, it's a really nice feature. Um, a bunch of other little features with iOS 4.2, but I wanted to cover the, the big features, multitasking and folders in this video. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. If you have any questions about any of the uh, content that you've seen in this video about multitasking or folders or the iPad, just leave a comment down below or send an email to myapplezone at gmail.com. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. really helps out, helps build the community. And until then, you guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.